Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another video and today I'm going to be doing another haul for you guys so let's get right into it. So I placed this little order from White Deer Stationery. She has been doing so many releases lately and I am so happy about it because I love her little like doodly icons. They are seriously some of my favorites and I feel like they match a lot of the spreads that I do. So I love that so much. I've placed so many orders like smaller ones. Um, she has free Canadian shipping a lot of the times when I look. So I'm like, okay, well, even if it's just a few sheets that I want, like it's fine. And I always end up grabbing more than I thought I would. So always gets me. Anyways, so this is the little freebie that I got. I haven't gotten this one in before. I think it's so freaking cute. I love this little like cloud. I have no idea what I would use that for, but it's adorable. Got a little calendar, sail, puzzle, and then some of these other icons I actually did grab a full sheet of. So the first um, sheet that I bought was the hair dryer one. I just thought it was so freaking cute for like any hair appointments or like getting ready or something. I just loved it. Then I got this bookshelf. I thought this would be great for either studying or reading. And if you guys want to see like closer details of these stickers, I would recommend going onto her website. Then I got the cutting board for cooking and stuff. I got the birthday cupcake to mark birthdays because I don't always want to just use balloons and so I wanted something else that I could use as well. Then I got this gift bag and I thought this would either be great as a gift bag or honestly even a shopping bag. I think if you look really really close on this like tiny little tag it says like for you but honestly I'd be cool with either one. And I thought this would be nice for like if I'm going shopping like for a birthday present or if I need to like wrap a present or something like that. Then I got these little credit cards. I thought these would be nice for marking like online shopping or paying bills or something like that. I got the iced coffee drinks. I didn't even notice that this one is like a green, kind of like the Starbucks straws. So that's cool. And I love that like her colorways are, you know, very neutral. They match a lot of my spreads. And then like even in sheets like this where you think it's all the same color, like a small detail will be different. Kind of like the straw is different on each row. Then I got mixing bowl for probably baking. I got the cooking pot, super cute. I got the stand mixer also for baking. She just had a lot of like new baking releases and I really liked them. And then I also got the desktop computers. So um, I purchased a lot of the sheets in my last order that I actually didn't film. I had a bunch of orders come in, um, but I wasn't filming hauls for a little over a month. So I'm just now getting back into it, but I did have to like repurchase a lot of sheets that I already have. So it kind of just goes to show you how much I really use her stuff. And then that was everything from White Deer Stationery. The next shop that I have to show you guys is The Giving Girl. Love Jennifer. So let me start out with the little freebies here. So these are the two freebies I got. We have this cute little washi card that says let love guide you which is so pretty. I really want to stick this just like in my planner kind of like you know it'll be just the quote at the top. I think it'll be really really pretty. I love this transparent card. And then this is the cute um, like sticker freebie. You have one of her like, you know, strung boxes, whatever. I'm not sure what she's calling this one. And then you have just like some other like functional stickers as well. I'm not sure if these are meant to be dividers or what, but I will try to look at her shop or her Instagram to see um, what they're meant for, but very cute. And I like the colorway. And then Jennifer whoop, was so sweet and included a few um, extras for me. So the first thing I have is the Bow laptops. I haven't seen these actually and I really like them um, as well as the size. And you get so many on a sheet. Like you have five across and then I think seven. Yeah, wow. It's like 35 um, icons and I like that they go both directions. So super cute. This is on the pink ice background and it is in gold foil. She also included the bow clip sticky notes. So cute. These are going to be like perfect to mark a test or a study day or something. And I feel like you could layer these with some mandalas like really, really pretty. Like the floral mandala from my shop with this and like a cute little icon I think would be perfect. So I have that in gold uh, with a white background. And then she also included some bow date dots for me as well. 
And again, these are gold. And I think you have one, two, yeah, three sets. So like three full months worth, which is awesome. So thank you so much for those, Jennifer. And then into what I actually purchased. So a lot of these like sheets that I got were part of the advent calendar. And I got the advent calendar in rose gold and I've been using it so much, especially like this sheet. I've been using a ton and I really wanted it in the other foil colors. I just... Um, since I use the TSKP planner, there's like lines that go throughout the day and I think these like simple dividers just are incredible for hiding those if I just need like an extra little something. Um, I have my planner here. Let's see if I can like find one. I've been using it like a lot. Let's see if I can you find a spread. I feel like it won't be that difficult. I think I used it in the spread. Yeah. So like here so um there's like a line that sits there but i just use one of these dividers and it kind of like covers it up perfectly like kind of same idea here um and here you know well there's no line there but anyways i just i really really love these uh dividers and so i really wanted the other foil colors that i don't have so i did grab gold and i also grabbed silver um, this was another sheet so this is one that you can just add to any box these are like all cut out um and she called these her bow strings you can add it to like any box and it may makes it kind of like one of her bow strung boxes which i love so i have these in rose gold i haven't actually used them yet um but i do need to do that but i did grab them in the other two foil colors as well so gold and silver um again i think all of these were actually from the advent so i'll stop saying that but I loved these tiny bows. I think the shape is really, really cute. These are the teeny bows number four. So again, I got silver and gold. Love putting these on top of icons. Like a lot of my white deer stationery icons. Like let's see if I can find one. Some of them have, I don't know, maybe not that one. I don't know. I just like adding little bows to it. Like maybe on this one, I could add a little bow just to foil it up a little bit. Then um, I also did get the clear confetti like um like deco sheet oh and this one is actually cut out differently the one that i got was like cut out into a circle or sorry an oval but these are more like kiss cut so that's pretty cool or maybe i did know that and that's why i grabbed all three sheets i'm not sure why i grabbed the rose gold but i'm not complaining i love adding little like foil accents throughout my spreads like this so super cool excited to get into those and then i did also want to grab a few more of her bowstrung boxes you guys know i I'm just so obsessed with these. I have an insane <laughs> collection of them. Like you saw maybe in like one of my last hauls that I picked up like a crazy amount and got it a year later. And I like during that time, I also did buy a ton, but I just think they're so pretty and I wanted some new colorways. So this is the cement bow box sampler. I love the samplers cause I have like, these are like the classic ones. You have the quarter boxes and you also have the hearts. Um, and I just, I don't know, I think they're perfect. So I did get it in gold, in a rose gold, and in silver. This with the silver is like so pretty. The cement is like a really nice gray color, but I think it has like almost like a purpley undertone or something. I can't, I don't know, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's a really, really pretty color. And then I think these were some newer colors. So I got pink frosting and... I think I have a colorway that's really similar to this, but I love pink and almost all my spreads have pink in it. So I think it'll be, you know, used well. So got that in all three foils. Then I got grapefruit. I thought this would be like a fun um, color for summer. It's definitely a bit of like a bolder pink and I'm not sure that it'll match as many of my spreads, but I think for the ones that it does, like again, maybe in the summer and stuff, I think it'll be really fun. So I have that one in all three foils and then I really wanted to try some of these fancy boxes um, because I don't really have any of them and I thought it would be just kind of like cool to try. So it's the same idea but um, the shapes are just like different. I got this one in mauve chiffon. It's just like a purple color. I don't use a lot of purple in my spreads. I feel like this may have not looked purple um, on the website and maybe that's why I grabbed it but I don't know. I'm like hopefully I can use some purple spreads so I can use this. The only times I really use purple are like April and September usually from like the really old EC colorways and I'm I still kind of like to some extent stick to it but 
yeah i'm excited to pull those in when i get a chance and then this one is called almost mauve i think i have this colorway in like the original bowstrung box sampler and i love it um and i just thought it would be really cute to have this as well so i got this one in all three foils as well so this is the gold and we have silver look at that it's so freaking pretty these just like remind me of like really like classy like clouds or something i don't know i love it but that was everything that i grabbed from the giving girl okay so i've been awful at recording my haul bits whenever anything comes in i instantly just want to put it away and like get it into my collection so i can start using it but I do have another haul bit here today. Um, I just got my order in from Peach Palm, so I thought I would show it to you guys. Um, this is either a freebie that she sent in all orders or one that she included for me, I'm not sure, but it is these really cute um, semi-transparent mini adhesive notes. So they're just sticky notes that are transparent and they are really, this like really pretty seafoam green color. And then there was also the journaling card, which I think is super cute. I might have to add this to my planner because I think it's just really pretty and I like how minimal it is that I can just kind of like stick it into a pocket or something and just have, you know, the bit of white peeking out. And then for what I actually picked up, I did get two kits and I hadn't placed an order like when I ordered these in so long, like any sticker order. Um, and I was just in the mood to shop so I checked out Peach Palm and just got these two kits So I'm not sure what these are called. Let me see here. I think this one is summer days according to my little like, you know Packing list thing. So I did get the add-on headers, which I think are super cute They have the little like heart confetti and then these are the full boxes I think these are so pretty and gonna be really nice for summer I just, I love how neutral it is, but still is like pink and girly and like watercolory. Love that. And I just always really like peach palm kits. And I think this is in gold foil or light gold. It does look like a light gold, but I'm not sure if that's just her regular gold. And I love all the deco. It's so, so pretty. Then the bottom washi as well. So that was summer days. And then I also got another kit, and this one, it looks like this one is called Mademoiselle. So, kind of the same idea, um, where I got the headers. Also very, very pretty, like all the pinks. You guys know I love pink. And this is just like a really pretty, like, girly kit with some, like, makeup elements and, like, all the florals and shopping. You know, and this like Coco Chanel quote and the foiling in her kits is just always perfection. So same format as the last kit. I don't think she's updated her format or anything in a while, but I do really like her format. So I have no complaints there. And then the bottom washi, very, very pretty. So that was everything I got in this peach palm order. Okay, so the next shop I'm going to show you guys is Dash of Sun Designs, and I really like her shop, and Chelsea is such a sweetheart. Um, I saw this kit because um, I think someone posted about it. I think Regina posted about it, and she said she got it, and I was like, oh my god, that's so pretty. How did I not notice this kit? Um, and then I went on her shop, and it was sold out, so I messaged Chelsea. I was like, hey, any chance this is going to be coming back? in stock and she was so sweet she's like i'll stock it for you just the one i was like you are a little angel thank you so i'll start off with the freebies so i did get two um so this is the first one such pretty um like functional pieces and then the icons and these love that oh i guess this is brit's freebie i think it's a pr freebie so that's really cool i can't remember if i used a pr code my invoice is somewhere here i'm assuming i did otherwise i don't know how i would have gotten this but Really, really cute. And then I also, I think this is like the general shop freebie. So this one is on premium matte paper in gold. And this one is on clear paper in rose gold. And her scripts are so cute. Oh my God, I really hope I go to the beach and happen to use a rose gold kit that week. So just, so I can use that script. But her icons are adorable. And then I picked up a few different like functional kind of stickers. Well, I guess these are more so decorative. So I got these decorative botanicals uh, number one. 
and I just think they're really cute. I've been loving playing around with like florals. I don't know if you guys have seen them, like the ones that I use in like my plan with me's. Like these are just like the ones from my shop and I just wanted some more variety. So I grabbed these from her. So I got them in all three foils and they are on clear, which is what I like for stickers like these. Then rose gold and gold. And then I also got these skinny dividers because I thought these would be kind of fun to use um, like in my spreads. I'll often, oh God, can I pull my planner around here? So sometimes I'll need to like cover uh, the lines of the planner and I'll use these ones from the Giving Girl, like kind of like these lines if you can see them. Um, but I thought these would be just like a nice change of pace, just again, more options. So I got these for that and I just got them again in all three foils, nothing to them. You can kind of see where they're cut. So they're super slim and they're actually also included in her kits, which I didn't notice before, but that's really cool. So I did pick up two kits. So I'll show you the first one here. This one is called uh, Blush Breeze. And this is the kit that I saw and I was like, oh my god, I need this, I want this. So she has these dividers here and there's nine of them, which is awesome if you want to use one every day. I think these would also be really cute to put like under full boxes to kind of like cap it off. And then at the top here, she has like these sections cut out kind of so you can use it as washi or headers or something, which is great. Love that she uses like all the space on the pages. Then we have this page, which love that, these little kind of like quarter boxes, labels, I'm not really sure. Then we have square boxes, quarter boxes, like third boxes, and then half boxes down here. And I like the variety with like the confetti and the bows. I honestly almost always cover up bows like this whenever I have them, like I'll just put like some deco or something because I feel like whenever I put an icon and the bow is here, it ends up looking a little too crowded for me. So I'll put like some floral deco or something to cover those up. Then we have um, day covers here and headers, really pretty. And then we have the bottom washi and you do get three strips, which is cool. So you have that super skinny strip, which I think I'm gonna try to use in between the two other strips. Um, you know, to get some more foil in. Oh, I didn't even notice the scalloped, scalloped strip at the top here. That's cool. So yeah, you have three strips. You have a super skinny one, kind of skinny one, which I really like all the seashells on it. And then the thicker floral one, very pretty. And yeah, this is also really pretty. Like if you're marking something, you know, for a few days or you can cut it, cut it down for headers in the sidebar. And then um, we also have this last page here, which you get her icons, which are adorable at the top there. And then you get a lot of functional stickers. So I really like these boxes here. I'm excited to play around with these. You get flags, all these layering stickers and scallops, um, some headers here, and then sidebar stickers and checklists. So this is a really awesome page. She was able to get a lot in. And I, again, really like her icons. I just think they're so cute and like doodly. And I like the foiled accent on them. And then she did have some add-on options, so I decided to get both for this kit. So we have the deco, which I just thought these florals would be really fun and like they're so pretty in here. So I just wanted like a sheet of them um, and there's no deco in the kit. So again, and like this is gonna be so cute to like write something in there. Um, and these will be fun to layer with. I'm just excited to play around with it. And then you also get this kind of like foiled layering sheet question mark. I'm not really sure what she calls this. It doesn't really say, but um, yeah, so you have the pattern section at the top. So you get another set of headers here and then there's all these like shapes cut out. So you have some scallops here, like more circles and then these pentagons. And then at the top here, oh, I don't think there's anything there. But down here, you also get more uh, like boxes to write in. So you have like a scalloped one here, which is really pretty. I wish there were two of these, um, but that's okay. And then you also get these like half circled ones that are not scalloped. And then these, it's like pretty easy to tell the shape, but yeah, I'm gonna have like boxes galore. And <laughs> like, I have all of these, this sheet, and then this entire page too. So there's gonna be a lot to play around with and I'm super excited for it. Oh, I hope, oh my God, guys, I should, try to use this when I go to the beach and then I can pull in this script. Perfect, okay. I hope I get to go to the beach this summer, we'll see. Um, and then the second kit that I got, it doesn't say the name, so 
I'm not too sure, but I remember this came out a little while ago and I really wanted to pick it up and I just kept forgetting and I finally got it and it's just so beautiful with the silver foil. Like, I love this. I think this is eucalyptus question mark. I don't know. I'm so bad at telling plants apart, so I have no idea, but let's go with eucalyptus. <laughs> and this is just a really pretty self-care kit. The format, I believe, is the same, so I'll run through it a little bit faster here. Like, look how cute these icons are. Love it. Oh, so cute. Oh my god, this page <gasps> looks so clean and pretty with the silver and then, like, the light bottom washi. Love that. And then I also did get this page um, for this kit. I love this color so much. Like, this minty green is stunning. And I love me some patterned headers and, like, some layering bits. I'm excited to... Or, like, I kind of want to see how people use these because they're a little bigger than, like, any other layering shapes that I'm used to. So, I'm going to try to see if I can find, like, spreads where people use them and, um, you know, figure that out. And then, so that was everything from Dash of Sun Designs. I then got some stuff. I got some icons from Hello Petite Paper. Um, and I have already, like, gone into these a little bit. Or maybe not these. I got into the next, the next shop, but... You know they've been sitting on my desk I've been meaning to film this haul and it hasn't really happened but anyways we got this really cute little um, business card and I always like how she has like her doodles on one side so you can like I don't know like paper clip it into your planner or something and then her actual business card with the info on the back and then this is the freebie that I got so we have this like sidebar sticker some icons and then a build do and a habit tracker I wish she had like only icons on her freebies because um, I feel like matching this to a specific kit would be a little harder, especially I don't really use build do stickers or habit trackers, but maybe this if I needed it for a certain kit. Um, but the icons are very cute and I haven't seen these. I'm not sure if these are the ones that are in her kits now or they're just like newer icons. I'm not really sure, but these are like her doodle icons that I have a little stack of my own. So I wanted it to add to it. Um, but I will say that the newer ones look a little different. I don't know if you can like tell on camera. Um, I think the older ones are a little bit bigger and I feel like the coloring on the newer ones is like more red. I feel like on camera it's coming off looking exactly the same. But I feel like these have a little more red whereas these were like a true like cool pink. So I don't know. I don't love that like... I'm not sure. Maybe it's just that she's going for this darker pink rather than like the lighter one now. I'm not really sure, but just something that I noticed. And if you're wondering, I always get her stuff on glossy paper. I used to get the matte, um, but I honestly am just not a huge fan of it. So I always go for glossy. So into the actual icons that I picked up, I got these fast food ones. These are so cute. Um, I did get the baking ones. Oh my god, you guys, I've been picking up. You'll see in the next order, too. I've picked up so many cooking icons, and I honestly have cooked, like, twice in the last month or two. <laughs> Maybe I'm exaggerating, but I don't know. I just, I love baking icons. Like, so cute. I did also get cooking ones, <laughs> which I like. I like how small these are. These will be nice to kind of put on a quarter box or something if, you know, cooking didn't take up too much of my day. I got these sleep masks because... A girl loves her naps, got her coffee for all my Starbucks runs. I also got tea. I usually use tea, um, like, you know, like teapots, tea kettles, or like teacups when I'm just like sitting down with like my family or something and we always drink tea when we're together. So um, I usually use it for that. Or I guess if I got tea somewhere, I can use it there too. I got these work slash study ones. I got them mostly for studying because I don't really use like paper stuff for working, but there's that. I also got these barbecue ones. And then I got these drinks ones. These are so adorable. I love them. Especially these like chunky little wine glasses. And the, oh my god, the cocktails. That's so cute. Can't wait to pull those in. Um, I hope they go well with the rest of the stuff that I have. And then I did place another White Deer stationery order. I know I feel like I place an order like twice a month, but she's just been having so many amazing releases the past few months and I just can't help myself. So love that. So here is the freebie and her freebies are always adorable. She has like her newer icons on them always. So this is freebie number or sticker sampler number 16. Um, so cute. I want to have a little game night just to use that. Adorable. 
And then I got these water bottles because um, I've been going on walks and I feel like just using the same sneakers, I'm like getting a little tired of it. And sometimes if I'm going like a few times a week, it's just like sneaker, 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 sneaker. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can walk marks with water bottles as well. Then I got these pancake stickers, which if you guys watched uh, my plan with me's, I think I pulled in some of these a little while ago. Um, they're just, they're so cute. I love it. I got these paper clips. I thought they'd be nice to like use in my sidebar for like what week of school I'm in whenever I go back to school or just like for smaller assignments or something like that. I got these yoga mats. I got these cute little nail polish stickers. These french fries are adorable. Again, I already got into it, but oh my god, are these not so cute? Ugh. I don't need more excuses to go get fast food, okay? <laughs> and then I guess this is where the baking starts. I have like a few sheets of baking stickers. So I have these oven mitts, which are so cute. And I already probably have like five to 10 sheets of baking stuff from White Deer Stationery. Okay, maybe not 10, but I definitely have at least five. Um, but I just always get all the ones that she releases because I'm obsessed with her cute little doodles. So these are measuring spoons. Then we have cooking utensils. And then I got these camera ones. I picked up like the camera ones um, that she released not too long ago, but I also liked how these were more so specific to filming, whereas those are just kind of like a camera. So I'll probably alternate and go back and forth between the two. Then I got beach chair and umbrella, and I have a few different like summery beach. Um, I think I have like a bikini one and then one other one, like maybe a floaty or something from her shop too. So I really need to be hitting up the beach, but okay guys, hold on. Let me, let me, let me show you this. This kit, whoa, okay, this kit, one of these pink ones, and then like a beach day script. Like, hello, is that not adorable? I love, <laughs> okay, whoa, I'm throwing, I'm throwing everything around. I'm just getting way too excited about these summer plans that I do not have. And then I got these highlighters. Again, I thought they'd be nice for school stuff. Same idea with this pen cup. And then I thought this washi stack was really cute to mark like filming or planning or something like that. Um, same with this planner. And then the last sheet I got were these party balloons, which I do wish that she had them more so like how she does the rest of her icons where like each row is a different color rather than having like all the colors in one because I feel like finding a spread where you know all these colors are in it will be harder but maybe that's something that she can do in the future I don't know hopefully that would be nice because I would definitely pick that up so that was everything from White Deer Stationery. So the next shop I have to show you guys is Miss and Meow. This is my friend Regina's shop and she got this really pretty new packaging. I think it's so cute the new vellums like I love these floral like little leafy bits at the bottom and the rose gold bow up here. So pretty. So um, I did pick up a few things from her during the PVC sale. So I'll start with the freebies as well as some of these smaller sheets and then I'll move on to the two kits that I got. So starting off with the freebies, she was having tiered freebies. Um, so I think this was the like all orders freebie and Regina was super sweet and gave me two of each of the freebies Love her. Thank you. And look how pretty these are. I love these. I think these like span the whole width of um, Like a day. So I think these will be really cute to take up some space with and these will be pretty to layer with So I have gold and rose gold for this one Then some of these Polaroids we have here. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. I need like full sheets of all of them. So this is the gold and the rose gold. I think this was the next tier. And then I think the last tier was this like summer bucket list. And this one is foiled as well. So I have this one in gold and in a silver. And it just has really cute little like go for a walk, pool day, time to shop, fun in the sun, really cute little like summer bucket list things. And um, they're like all pretty like quarantine safe. I mean, maybe not quarantine, like time to shop, you still have to leave your house, but um, there's no like travel or anything. And um, I'm pretty sure she did that on purpose, which I think is really nice for 2021. Then she had these watercolor swatches, which I think are really pretty. They were on a freebie um, in one of her other releases. I think they had like some flowers on them, but she made them more like anytime rather than just 
for um, like spring or summer. So I got the pink ones in all three foils. So we have gold, silver, and rose gold. And then I also got the linen colorway in all three foils. These are like my two go-to colorways. I feel like it gives me like a good variety. I think pink is definitely like my most used because almost every spread I do has pink in it. And then for the spreads that don't, I have these like more neutral colors or like a purple or like a, you know, blue color. So I love getting both of these, but she does have a ton of different colorways. Um, she has like seasonal ones and then some other ones too. And then I did also get two of her newer kits. The first one I got is called Honey. So this is the little deco sheet freebie. So pretty, I love all the florals that she included. And then it is a foiled in gold. Oh, I love that. Look at those headers, like stunning. Love this, I think this is gonna be one of my August spreads. Then we have the functional page here with the date covers, weekend banner checklists, icons, and headers. We have this page, which is always like one of my favorites. You have her scalloped circles, some like quarter boxes, third boxes, and half boxes. And then the last page, look at this bottom washi. Oh my God, I can't. So pretty. And then sidebar stickers and layering stickers at the bottom here as well. But this bottom washi, I love. And then the last thing that I got from Miss and Meow for this order was her peachy kit. And this one is so pretty as well. Love this like deco sheet, so cute. Um, and then these are the full boxes. I was with Regina um, when she was like designing this or like part of this and I am obsessed. Like this little like bed scene over here, love. The chair, the cocktail, all of it is so pretty and I think this is light gold I believe they're not the same gold actually I'm not sure it might be light gold it might be regular gold but either way super pretty and then it's all just the same format oh this page always gets me with all the pretty colors and then of course the stunning bottom washi as well and sidebar stickers and layering stickers so that was everything from miss and meow and then i did also get an order from nikki plus three i did pick up two sheets and then um, i got some freebies here so this is the april freebie you have some like labels and then some of these like florals on the side here and this is in silver and then this is a weekend freebie and this is just like four sets of headers on um, like a gray background in rose gold so that's nice so I'll show you guys the two kits that I got the first one is called um, lilac beauty I loved these colors with the rose gold foil I think it's really nice and then this is a new format so I haven't used her new format yet but I'm really excited about it so you have these like fun boxes, half boxes, third boxes, labels, quarter boxes, and some more labels here. And then you have a checklist, a little bit of deco, some layering stickers, circle icons, which um, I wish she didn't go back to circle icons, or I don't know, go back, because um, she had cut out icons before, and I kind of wish she stuck to that, because um, personally, I don't really use circle icons, so I probably wouldn't use these, but either way, I mean, they're there. <laughs> then we have two sets of headers as well as some flags here. And then you have sidebar stickers and a bottom washi. Cute. And then you also have the um, date dots, weekend banner, and some of these like arrows that come with all of her kits. And then the last kit that I got from Nikki Plus 3 is called Lavender Rose. And this is also a very August kit to me. Anytime I see like these two colors, like a minty green and a yellow, I always think of August. Um, I don't know, just like from the old EC. <laughs> Anyways, we have the same kind of like freebie date dots sheet. And then the full boxes. I think it's so pretty. Love that. And then again, the same format, her new format, which is awesome. I think it's, yeah, four full pages and they're all foiled, which is great. Oh, this deco is stunning. And so is this bottom washi. Oh, I see a little oops there, but that's okay. 
So yeah, that was everything from Nikki Plus 3. Okay, and then the last shop I'm going to show you guys today is Paper Muse Crafts. So the first thing we have here is this super cute little freebie with all these like vines on them. Very, very pretty and I'll definitely be using that. And then I did pick up two weekly kits as well as a monthly kit. So I'll start off with the weeklies. So this is the first one. This one is called Book and it is stunning. I love the florals here with the rose gold and the colors. It's just really, really pretty. And then this is the second page and she actually does have a reformat. I don't think this page was foiled before and now all the pages are. I think it was just, um, this was the only page that wasn't foiled and now it is. Like look how pretty. And then this is, I think, what changed is that she has new icons in her kits, and they're super cute. I like them a lot, um, and I do like that they're smaller than the other ones. They seem very functional, um, so I'm happy about that. And then I did also pick up a few add-ons for this kit. So I got the Fancy Box label, Fancy Box, oh, sorry, Fancy Bow label box. Um, and I this I got this one because I thought I could pull it into this spread, obviously. And then these colors are ones that I use pretty often. Maybe not the green as much, but these three. So I thought if I had any, like, leftovers, because I don't see myself using all of these. Like, there's 12 of them. Um, so I don't see myself using all of them, but I thought I could pull them into other spreads. And then I did also get the bow headers as well as the deco. So the kit does come with some deco, but I always want like more florals to like, you know, layer with. So this bigger like deco I probably wouldn't use, but some of these like, you know, floral bundles I'll probably like cut down and stick them throughout my spread. I think it'll be really, really pretty. And then the next kit I got is called Lagoon. This is such a stunning kit and I love silver spreads for the summer because I feel like I always have like gold spreads in the summer and so I always love pulling in some other foil colors and this one is so pretty. I think I actually bought this clip art as well. I haven't designed anything with it but I I think I actually do own this clip art, which is funny. Um, like, I didn't even notice when I bought it. I was like, wait, I think I bought that last week. <laughs> um, but anyways, really, really pretty full boxes. And this bottom washi is oh, so pretty. Love. Like, look at these colors. This screams July to me. Like, the old EC, like, this blue and this, like, peachy pink color. I think those were, like, the two colors. And so this just screams, like, EC July colors. <laughs> um, this is the next page, um, and this one is the last page. Like, so cute. And then I did get the bow headers. I didn't get the boxes for this page, and you guys will see why in a second. And I also didn't get the deco. Um, I think I wasn't a huge fan of the florals on the deco. I can't really remember. Maybe there weren't florals on the deco, because I don't really see many florals throughout the spread, or sorry, the kit. So I think that's why I didn't pick it up. I can't really remember. But the last thing that I got is actually the monthly for July, and it ma matches this kit really well. Like, the art is the same. And so this is the first time that I'm using a Paper Muse Crafts monthly kit. I'm not sure if she's done them before or if this is a new thing, but it does come with this quarter sheet um, on clear paper. So you have some scripts, you have the days of the week, the holidays, and her super cute icons. And then the actual kit, so you have the two bars at the top. These four boxes are cut into um, like individual boxes. And then you have, I think it's this way, yeah. <laughs> Wait, right? This tree? Yes, but I feel like these sunglasses are upside down. Interesting. Wait, is it this way? I'm not really sure. Um, like this is obviously this way, but anyways. Um, you have the sidebar sticker, some skinny strips, these more like quarter boxes, a little bit of like third-ish boxes, and then like the full boxes kind of. And then, so this here is the reason that I didn't pick up this page for the kit because I thought these were like super similar and I probably won't use all of these in a single spread so I thought I could pull the rest of them or like whichever ones into this kit because again it is the same art so it matches perfectly. Um, so that's kind of my plan. So you have four more of these individual boxes or actually sorry three more 
And then, oh, I didn't even notice. On the side here, you have some cut up flags. And then you have the date dots. So that was everything that I got from Paper Muse Crafts. So I think this is going to be the last um, thing that I show in this haul. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know where you've been shopping, where I should shop. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.